feel out of place in modern battle games? Does Assassin's Creed feel too manageable? Do you still enjoy the original Warhammer Total War? If you answered yes to any of these questions, boy do I have a game for you. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun put you in feudal Japan and with the mission of stopping the current party in power. As are for most strategy games, the real skill comes with the tactics, not with your command of the controls. Thankfully so, this game's tutorial takes a huge amount of time to complete and may not provide you with the answers to all the questions you may have. That being said, if you do find things a bit too difficult for you, you can not only start the game at an easier difficulty, but you can change at any point in your gameplay. If you are worried about your progress, fear not. There is a timer that appears on screen every time that has been over a minute since your last save. As handy as that may be, this broke the immersion for me and made it feel like this game wants you to use save scumming tactics to figure this game out. This game was originally released in 2016 and, as such, it feels old. If you enjoy the storytelling elements of Gene Forge 1, Mutagen, and other games from that era, you'll feel right at home. Although you can rotate the camera perspective so that you can see more of the playing field, this perspective can make the game feel impersonal and also ruined the experience for me. That being said, for me, those who are invested in the game have given Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun a rating of 90% positive on Steam. There weren't any issues that I came across, but if you aren't someone interested in managing a small tactics team, I think this game can be left in the past. I give Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun a rating of 5.2 out of 10. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is free on the Epic Games Store from now until November 17th at 10 o'clock Central Time. If you want to see the other free game this week, check out my review of Alba, a wildlife adventure that I've linked here. Thanks for watching.